fiddling, few names loom as large as that of Ed Haley. His inimitable tone and technique, along with an immense and varied repertoire, made him legendary during his day and practically mythical in the years that have followed. James Edward Haley was born on Hart's Creek in Logan County, West Virginia in 1885 and died in Ashland, Kentucky in 1951. His father, Thomas Milton Haley, a fiddler as well, was killed when Ed was three or four years old, leaving him an orphan to be raised at Hart's Creek by his Aunt Liza. An attack of the measles left Ed blind in both eyes. He received no formal education. Ed started out fiddling on a cornstalk fiddle made by a neighbor, but soon graduated to a full-size violin. Without the benefit of a teacher or his eyesight, he developed a unique way of holding and playing the instrument. Rather than holding it under his chin, he held the fiddle against his upper arm and chest, supporting it solely with his left hand. And instead of changing the angle of his fiddle bow, Ed rotated the fiddle in order to change which string he was playing. The result was a soaring, ringing sound that thrilled audiences and dancers and mystified other fiddlers. In 1914, Ed married Martha Ella, a blind piano teacher from Moorhead, Kentucky. Ella learned to accompany Ed on the mandolin, and the pair traveled widely together. From the late teens through the 1920s, they could be found playing for tips and change at county fairs and house parties, on street corners and courthouse squares, or at stock sales in West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, and Southwest Virginia. They reportedly made a fair living throughout the Depression and made their home in Ashland, Kentucky, where they raised six children. During the 1930s, Ed was a frequent competitor in the fiddling contests that were popular at the time. There, he developed friendships and mutual admiration of such well-known fiddlers as Clark Kessinger and Clayton McMichael. While Haley played on radio stations, including Charleston, West Virginia's WOBU, which would later become WCHS, and Cincinnati station WLW, there are no live recordings from that era. Noted Charleston fiddler Bobby Taylor said Kessinger, a Kanawha County native and one of the best old-time fiddlers in all of Appalachia, said Haley was the best fiddler he had ever heard and would go hear him to study and marvel at his style and technique. In 1946, Ed's son Ralph brought home a portable recording device and over the next year recorded a vast archive of fiddle tunes. These homemade recordings stayed exclusively with the Haley family until they were brought to the attention of folklorists Guthrie Mead and Mark Wilson in 1972. More than 20 years after Ed Haley's death, 14 of these performances were released on a Rounder Records LP in 1973 and the word of Haley's fiddling began to spread. Old Bill Lyon said, Mother great God, don't weep and cry. Old Bill Lyon said, Mother, I'm bound to die all about. That's what Prince of the One of the many who was drawn to these recordings was fiddler, banjo player, dancer, and songwriter John Hartford. Hartford began a quest for information about Ed Haley and his music that took him through the back roads of Logan County and beyond a quest that Hartford pursued for the remainder of his life. Ed played the fiddle on trays. Ed played loud on smokehouse. Crazy George out of a Maynard store, mouth of hearts in the Crawley Mountain, over at Dingus and Mingo. In 1997, John Hartford produced an extensive four-CD collection of Ed Haley's music that was released by Rounder Records, comprising 72 individual tracks. 
Haley's arrangement of Man of Constant Sorrow has become the accepted standard. The song, performed by John Hartford in Haley's style, was featured in the Coen Brothers' 2000 film, O oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Thanks to these recordings, younger fiddlers, including the Punch Brothers' Gabe Witcher, have become fans of Haley's unique playing style. In 1996, the city of Ashland, Kentucky, started the Ed Haley Memorial Old Time Fiddle Festival, which includes a contest that encourages young people to play and interpret his music. Through events like these, Ed Haley's spirit and music lives on. ¶¶ 